Hey everyone and welcome back to the layout once again and welcome to another scenery video. Today we're going to talk about how to produce some homemade concrete grade crossing panels. Now I'll just say right off the bat that I didn't really take any specific uh, measurements or get the, the specific dimensions of grade crossing panels. I was roughly copying the BLMA concrete style grade crossings. Uh, the one thing I did have to figure out is what width of grade crossing would fit between the rails as well as the height off the tops of the ties. So through some trial and error I found out that between the rails I could have a panel that's just a tick over half an inch wide and then for the panels that go on either side of the rails um, I just randomly picked a width that looked good and uh, I put these at just over five sixteenths of an inch. The length of the grade crossing segments was, again, pretty arbitrary. I just needed them to be as long as the actual uh, road or gravel crossings. So I have one road crossing that crosses a, a diagonal, and I measured that the panels roughly needed to be about six inches long. And then for my perpendicular crossing that's just a dirt and gravel road, that only needed to be um, a few inches long, so I decided to make the panels themselves about four inches long. Now we'll see later on that I'm going to simulate uh, a multiple segment grade crossing, but I'm not going to separate the segments, I'm just going to keep it as one long piece of plastic, and we'll make it look like they're individual concrete segments uh, put end to end when we paint on the metal edging that goes around each of those segments. So I decided that I would make each of those segments one inch long, meaning that for our road, it would be a six inch long grade crossing, and for the gravel and dirt road, those would be four inches long and four segments in length. So for this project, I decided to use four one hundredths of an inch thick styrene, because as it turns out, I had some 3M VHB tape lying around, and I had planned to use this to lay my road, and this tape is exactly four one hundredths of an inch thick. Um, so that was pretty convenient, and all I did for the road was lay down an HO scale cork foundation plus some N scale cork on top of that. And then when I put my concrete or my plastic grade crossing panels on top of the N scale cork, it met flush with the top of the rail heads. Um, and that meant that then when I put the VHB tape down, I had a very smooth and flush surface to then uh, pour my road with. With the grade crossing panels all cut out in the length that I wanted, I then uh, prepped to make the road. Now, of course, the actual road laying or road pouring process is a separate video, so be sure to check out my channel. Um, I uploaded a couple weeks ago a video on how I made the road. So I'm just showing these steps here to, to let you know how I worked the grade crossings into um, the road prep process. So I first backed them with some masking tape and just cut around all the edges. I then put them in place along the tracks where they'll eventually go. And once they were in place, I, I put some more masking tape on top of that. And once they were covered, I was ready to pave my road. And of course, I'm skipping a few steps here, but once the road was laid, I took my X-Acto blade and a metal ruler, and I just scored where the 3M patch plus primer material met my plastic grade crossing panels to make sure that they would lift out easily. And then once I peeled the masking tape off the top, I set them back in to make sure they fit. And as you can see, they fit back in quite snugly. So now with each of the grade crossing sections cut out, it's time to paint them. For the concrete color, I used a combination of black, tan, and white paint. So this is very similar to what I used to paint the road except I just made it a little bit lighter by adding some more white into it. And before I actually got to any painting, I made sure to sand and file all the edges of our grade crossings. And just like I painted the road, I took a cosmetic sponge and just sort of dabbed the paint mixture onto our white grade crossing panels, and I held them in place with a reversed or, or upside down piece of masking tape. Once I had painted the top surface of all the panels in a light gray color that looked good, 
I then had to turn my attention to painting the metal stamping that goes around the edges of all of the segments of the grade crossings. So to do this, I once again placed the top surface of our grade crossings on a piece of masking tape, and then I cut or, or traced the edges so that when I flipped it back over, I had a, a piece of plastic that was completely covered in masking tape. Now this might seem a little odd uh, to cover up the paint with masking tape, but what I'm gonna do here is create a mask by removing sections of tape so that it'll reveal the pattern of our metal stamping that goes around the grade crossing segments. So first I measured out an inch um, for each segment. So for our longer grade crossings, I had to put um, five little indentations in the masking tape so that I could remember where to cut out little sections. And then for our shorter grade crossing panel, since those are only four inches long, I only had to put three little score marks. And then using my X-Acto knife, I cut out and removed very thin little bands of masking tape at each inch mark that I had scored just moments earlier. And for these sections that cut perpendicular to the grade crossing panels, um, except for the end strips, so any of the strips that are in the middle, I made sure to make those a double width because if you can imagine, what I'm trying to simulate here is four or six individual segments that have been placed end to end. So the places in the middle where they meet um, should represent a, a double thick band of metal stamping. Um, and then you can also see that I removed thin strips uh, around the edges of the grade crossing panel. And this I just sort of eyeballed. I didn't really have any measurements on hand. Um, so I just removed thin little strips of masking tape using my metal ruler and I just removed as much as I thought would look realistic. And then to paint the metal edges of the grade crossing panels, I used the exact same method with the cosmetic sponge, except I just changed the color. And for this, I made it sort of a, a rusty gray brown color. And I made sure as well to sort of vary the color from panel to panel. Because um, if you look at the prototypes, they, they tend to have a bit of variation um, in how the metal ages and rusts. With the masking tape removed, we can see that the grade crossing panels are starting to look pretty good. And there was really only one more step, and this was to drill some holes through the panels um, to give them uh, the appearance that there are, there are lift rings, or what I think are little uh, divots in the concrete for lift rings. Um, if you look at prototype photos or even the, the BLMA versions of these grade crossing panels, um, you'll see that the whole location is often more central in each of the little segments. Um, but just for my simplification or for the ease of doing so, I put the holes a little closer to the corners. Uh, that way I could space them evenly. However, if you were more crafty than I am, you could probably create a template and uh, put more holes and put them in more prototypical spots. So this was more for effect than anything. I wasn't too worried about getting them in the exact right location, um, but I think they turned out looking okay. So that really wraps up the process of how I made these grade crossing panels. Um, once they were in place and the road was all painted, I added a little bit of uh, weathering, simulating some tire tracks, but that's really all there was to it. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. It was a fun little project. Uh, it did take me quite some time, so um, in hindsight, I probably would have been better off just buying the BLMA versions, uh, but I think they look pretty cool. And uh, at least doing it this way, you can create a slightly different look than the BLMA versions, because if you, if you look at some prototype photos, You'll see that some of the segments uh, on some grade crossings are shorter, others are longer. So you can create all sorts of prototype looks if you make your own grade crossing panels. So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time.